Hello. I see your fans out there. It's, 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 it's been a while since I've uploaded one of these videos. Um, been kind of busy. And um, haven't been able to record at night. So I haven't been able to record my team builder or my my battle up to this point. So I'm actually a little behind, but we'll be able to catch up pretty soon. Since uh, I'll probably just upload my battle video for this week. Technic um, this week. While well, this video, which was supposed to be uploaded last week, will just be uploaded late. So, yeah, and that'll be the plan. So, yeah, you can see my opponent's team to the, to the right. <laughs> As you'll be able to see my team on the left. And uh, you can see his team. <clears throat> but if you want me to go over his team really quick, it's, it's um, Lander's Eye, which we um, we both vote, we all voted to allow, to allow, which is pretty cool. But also pretty threatening. He has the Scalopede, Spirit Tomb. The Gastrodon, the Spirit, um, the Amoongus, Latias, Infernape, Dance, Ditto, and Mega Scissor. And uh, my team, as always, will consist of Azumarill, Latios, Bronzong, Tyranitar, Blaziken, Torterra, Licky Licky, Strapper, Mega Beedro, and Raichu. And instead of making a video about my transactions, I might as well just tell you right now. I dropped my Unborn, I dropped my Celebeam, I dropped my Sharpedo, and I dropped, and I picked up Titar, Blaziken, and Torterra for those three. I would go into my analysis about why I did so, but I don't want to give any people ideas about what I might bring, so I'm going to keep that as a secret for now. But yeah, that's my team, and uh, as you can see, my team right here, the six that I'm going to bring, and um, I'll explain to you why I'm bringing them. First Pokemon that I'm bringing is my Ron Jeremy to Licky Licky, with Fire Blast, Wish, Seismic Toss, and Protect. With this set, the only Pokemon I could possibly wall me is the Spirit Tomb, and um... I have a pretty good answer to Spirit Tomb with uh, Azumarill, but if it's um, if he comes in on my Licky Licky, I kind of don't want to risk the burn, so I'll probably just go to Raichu and call it a day. But yeah, that could be kind of a sticky situation. But um, you know, besides that, I hit everything really hard, including the Mega Scissor, who I have Fire Blast for, so he can't go for Sword Dance and Roost against me and beat me one v one. And eventually, and if if that were to happen, he'd just beat my team at that point. So. I don't want that to happen. That'll be the last thing I want to happen. So I ran Fire Blast, and according to my calc, even if you are max special defense, max HP, you get to a KO'd. And if you are super offensive, you pretty much die, which is crazy, considering I'm not invested. <laughs> so, yeah. That's my Licky Licky this week. Its job is to make sure I can support this Pokemon right here for uh, this huge threat known as Lander's Eye. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't want Lander's Eye to absolutely run through my team. So, I just, that's the reason why I have this Pokemon known as Bronzong and Latios, as you'll see later on. So, as, now we're going to move on to my next Pokemon, which is the Bronzong. And uh, I pause, I, I have to pause every time I click the Pokemon because this picture is going to disappear every time I do. So, that's kind of hard to worry about, but you know, I'm dealing with it, hopefully. Anyways, my second Pokemon is... My Liberty, the Bronzong, it's, it has came every single week, and uh, I think it's the only, no, I think Azumarill's came every week as well, so yeah, these two Pokemon point the team on its back, so. Liberty being the max HP, max defense, so it can still eat hits from a possibly physical Lander's Eye. The only problem with Lander's Eye is that if he has the freaking Smackdown or Gravity, uh, my Levitate gets um, eliminated. And as a result, I will be um, vulnerable to Lander's Eye at that point, and that would be terrible. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not the plan going into this week. But even if he does go for SmackDown, I have a lot of that I can switch in immediately after. If he goes for Gravity, that's a different story because Gravity hits everything at that point. But I have Toxic for the Spirit Tomb mainly, even though a Stab Ghost move will hit like a truck, especially if it's like a Shadow Ball, if Entity's invested. If he's not invested, I won't do too much. I have the Cobra Berry for knockoff from possibly the, possibly the Landers, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> really? Oh, and the Scissor. Scissor, too. And Empower Fire for the Scissor, so I don't get set up on it. <laughs> Even though I don't do a lot to it if he is defensive, but if he's offensive, I do a KO. If he's defensive, I do around 44%, give or take. So, yeah. I have the Stealth Rock because this is my Stealth Rock setter. As you'll see, this is not my... my Tyranitar is not my Stuff Rock setter, so yeah, that's the reason why I have to run Stuff Rock Heavy Slam so I can destroy Mega Di so I can just destroy the Diancie, 
do a lot to the landers, do a lot to the scallopede, do and that's pretty much it really. I can't really hit too, anything else too much harder. Maybe Latias, but I would toxic Latias anyways. So the only way he'd be able to avoid toxic is if he went for like the reflect type, and that would actually be really bad if he did. So <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we're gonna move on to my next Pokemon. That Pokemon is gonna be Raichu. Okay, my Raichu this week is uh, Grass Knot, Hidden Power, Ice, Thunderbolt, and Iron Tail. This entire moveset hits everything on his entire team. I don't care what you guys say. Hidden Power Ice will do a lot to Amoongus if he is physically defensive, which I expect him to bring for my Azumarill. Otherwise, a Bandit set would kind of destroy his team. And uh, I have the Iron Tail so I can hit the Diancie for four times to perfect the damage. After it eats a Thunderbolt, it has a good chance of, of taking it out at that point. The only Pokemon that it cannot touch really well is the Latias, and I have Bronze on to wall Latias pretty well, as well as this uh this Pokemon right here that my Tyranitar, which you'll see later on. Um, and I'm I'm also running Static, and here's my reason for running Static: if he brings the Ditto, thinking it's a uh, it, it's an Electric immunity to his team, or he doesn't want to risk switching into his Landers for just in case of Hidden Power Ice, which I'm bringing. Um, if he switches into the Raichu when I click Thunderbolt, he would still be affected by it because I'm static and not the light, lightning rod. And, um, that was kind of my logic for bringing static, so yeah, that's not a mistake before you guys say anything in the chat. Or in the comment section, really. That's the word I was looking for. Looking for, yeah. Anyways, yeah. But yeah, Grass Knot for the Gastrodon, Thunderbolt for Stab, Hidden Power Ice for Landers, and the Amoongus, because it hits Amoongus better hard, actually. And um, Iron Tail for the Diancy, so I can try to blow Diancy back. That would be pretty awesome. <laughs> Anyways, that's basically right for this week. Coming to um, two straight matches, I believe, yeah. Two straight matches, yeah. Because the last the ICO video I posted was against Flame. Man, that was a while ago, too. Anyways, my next Pokemon is going to be my, my Tyranitar. Okay, Tyranitar this week is the, um, bringing the Choice Scarf set. Max attack with a uh, crunch stun edge pursuit and fire fang stun edge so I can hit the so I can hit infernape a little harder, hit the scissor a little harder in case I don't click fire fang against it. And uh, I don't have superpower in this thing, so uh, that ditto doesn't come in and take get superpower and hit me because I could still hit it back for some damage. And with this move set, I could easily go into my my licky licky since I'm physically defensive. So, that's also another reason why I don't run, I don't have superpower. So I can just, you know, hit it really hard. And uh, I'm not sure if you can hear my dog crying in the background, but yeah, he's crying. But yeah, I have enough speed to outspeed a max speed Latias, because that's basically all I need to outspeed. So I paused this video like almost an hour ago because I had to go eat. So, but we're still in the same spot and the video's been paused, so we're good. Anyways, I, th I think the last time I last thing I said was that <laughs> I have enough speed to outspeed a max speed Latias. And um Crunch for stab and possibly defense drop stun edge for stab and possibly a crit. Firefang for four times super effectiveness and pursuit to trap the Lottie. <laughs> so yeah, now on now my next Pokemon is going to be my young Blaze is the the freaking uh, Azumarill. Alright, now we're back. Okay, okay. And uh, yeah, the yeah, Azumaro is a uh, max attack, max uh, well 204 speed to outspeed a no speed Azumaro. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And uh, I mean, I mean no speed, no speed Mega Scissor. And I 100% outsp outspeed Spirit Two with this investment. Most, of, I mean, I'm pretty sure I do. Yes, to be heavily, heavily, heavily speed invested to outspeed me. But yeah, uh, the 204 speed max attack and 52 HP. With the play rough, Ice Punch, Aqua Jet, and Waterfall, and I'm choice banished, I can boost my attack. So even play rough will be doing a good amount to a defensive Amoongus. And play rough hits this team rather hard if two KOs most form of Scallopede. I'm pretty sure most form of Scallopede too, unless he's really defensive. And um, if he uh, transforms into me and I click play rough, I probably will I will two KO. And um, if this with this move set, I can't really be t my Bronzong could wall it. Could if he predicts the Bronzong switch, it goes for Waterfall. That would be a good play in this part. But if he goes for any of my other moves, I would pretty much wall it to the moon and back. Especially if he's Choice Scarf. But yeah, Ice Punch is if I do predict the Amoongus, I can hit it 
better hard, and I can also freely go for it against a lot of us and not miss play rough, and that would be good. And uh, Ice Punch also hits the lander's eye pretty hard if I don't want to predict. Then Aqua Jet is for stab and for priority and for, you know, good attack. <laughs> it's, it's a good move to have an abandoned, on a Band-Aid on a Band-Aid set. Now anyways, we're going to go on to my last Pokemon, and that is going to be my Latios. Latios this week is bringing the, the safety goggles for just specifically for the Amoongus that he has. With the Hidden Power Fire, Draco Meteor, Psyshock, and Roos, Roos, I can beat the uh, Amoongus 1v1. Only problem, problem with the set is that I can't really touch the Gastrodon. And um, that's kind of problematic, I have to admit, but I could... If I had, like, su sub, then uh, I probably would beat it 1v1, but I don't, so <laughs> that's kind of bad. But I have answers to it, such as my, you know, Bronzong, going to and click Toxic. And his Toxic Immunity is four times weak to Hidden Power Fire. And Amoongus is a pretty good wall to it, that would be kind of a problem. So, you know, I just have to play around with that. I'm, I, I think, I'm, pre I, I'm pretty sure I could if I need to. Anyways, I have max speed, so I can speed tight a lot of us, and hopefully kill it with Draco if he stays in. Max attack, max special attacks. I can get good boost in damage, and I have the zero attack um, EVs just in case he is foul play among us. I don't take too much from foul play, <laughs> and uh, I would just be able to roost him, roost it off against the among us. Basically, this is my among us check. It can't touch me really unless he gets the poison. If he gets the poison, that would be a problem because I don't have my cleric. This my I'm not running heal bell my licky licky this week, so that'd be the worst case scenario. Anyways. Uh, and with this spread, I can't get touched. My, um, I mean, I'm trying to say that my, my either my Licky Licky or my Bronze on Walls, as well as my, my Donald Trump, which I can then pursue on the Switch. So yeah, that would be kind of good. But yeah, that's basically the team this week. It's um, these six Pokemon. I feel like will get the job done against his team of scary, scary Pokemon. Like, oh my goodness, none of these Pokemon are bad against me like any of these pokemon could work <laughs> so yeah we'll see what happens i'm hey trader josh I'll be, I'll be seeing you hopefully soon so au revoir and uh peace i'll be seeing you in the battle